This one? So this micron gauge, yep, you're gonna put that micron gauge, you're gonna screw it on there right to that suction service valve port. So these are our standard quarter ton refrigeration trainers that the students build. Uh, it's a nice little kit and it has everything that they need. All they gotta do is make sure it doesn't leak and then they can start doing their procedures with it. No, you got the wrong color hose. Come on, my guy, do better. Stop asking me, bro. Yep, look at that pain in the butt. So that's where they put the filter dryer, right in the way of the service valve. I do not recommend that when they're redoing work. So that's probably gotta be swapped out and changed and fixed as well. Cause you can see how difficult it is for the hands to get back in that area. And you still gotta get a wrench in there. So you can hang the gauges. It's what that hook's for. You can set that on my desk. Okay. All right, so we normally want this micron gauge, the vacuum gauge really, as far away from the vacuum pump as possible so it doesn't interfere. And normally we like to put it on the low side because we don't want any liquid running through it. And if we charge the system, we're normally charging it first through the high side in liquid form and then topping it off through the low side. And once we get it charged up, we can pull the micron gauge. So now we're gonna go ahead and hook the yellow hose, that center hose is for all accessories. And our accessory today is gonna to be the Tez 8 vacuum pump. So you're gonna to hook to that quarter inch connection right there. Sometimes there's a gas ballast that allows us to start the unit off uh, with a little bit of a vapor opening to balance the pressure. This one does not require that. But we will leave it a little loose to start. And then once it gets going, we'll tighten it up, all right? So now you're gonna need a plug. You gotta go ahead and pull that power cord down and get this thing plugged in because it is gonna need some sort of power. And you can go ahead and you can turn the micron gauge on, which it will start at atmosphere. Turn on, hold the button. It's got its little splash screen. All right, now is that in microns? You want to check the units. No, you're not plugging in that. Hey, check these units. You're plugging in the vacuum pump. Make sure it says micron. Switch the unit button until it says micron. It'll say MIC. Say MIC? Yeah. All right. Now you can go ahead and you can turn on the vacuum pump. For this one, the switch is right on the back end there, right? And now, once you get it going, you can tighten this up open up both the gauges. Some people open the low side first and then work the high, it really doesn't matter, you can open them both. Now, you do have both these valves cracked, right? Because what you're doing now is you're just pulling a vacuum on the gauges, but you wanna make sure that you got those cracked off the back seat, that's the other way. So that they have an access point to get in. Now we're vacuuming. And again, you gotta make sure there's no pressure in the system which they already did. They had a trace gas leak test and they made sure that everything was set. So what we're doing is we're trying to get that down to about 500 microns and then we'll close these gauges. And where these take hours to show one increment increase, this will show within minutes. And now you are hooking up the micron gauge and we are golden. Now, if it does not get down to 500 microns, it could be that we have an issue. What would that issue be if it doesn't get down? A leak, that's right. Now, if it gets down to 500, we'll do something called a decay test, where just make sure we don't have any moisture or anything in the system, it can go back up a little bit, and then we'll turn back on the pump and get it back down and it should hold. But uh, we wanna try and, and get it down to 500 microns, and it is, it's getting there, it's just a little slow. And again, you can see we have moisture in the system because it's showing in our oil here. Our oil's got a, that cloudiness, it's all moisture, and that could be affecting, even though we ran and purged nitrogen through it with a little bit of trace gas, uh, still affecting our vacuum. And then once we get all the moisture out, as you can see there was moisture in the system, it should drop right down to 500 microns. Anywhere between four to 700 is good, they say. Uh, we just like to see 500 where some are actually asking for lower now. And again, all these hoses have gotta be tight. It's really good if we can put new gaskets in some of these after they've been used for a while, 
and we did start to replace some of the gaskets. So once that gets down to 500, you can close both the gauges and we're just gonna let it sit for a minute. We're almost there. 550, 40, 30, 20. And it can get all the way down. I heard as low as 50 microns with this pump. Go ahead and close them. And it should hold. If it holds, sometimes it even drops a little bit lower. That's a solid number right there. You're looking good. All right, so both are closed and it is not going up. Normally we would wait about five minutes, but I feel pretty confident with this here. So that's how you do the vacuum, connecting up the gauges to the vacuum pump with the micron gauge. And uh, we'll post this right away for you guys. Thanks for watching.